Hello friends, let's see what Canada has in store for us today. What a surprise, it's snowing. Okay, I may as well utilize my lovely dry garage. Need to do a bit of tidying. I'm going to be using this workbench and that workbench. Yes, there's a workbench under there somewhere. Need to find a space for these wheels. Okay, today. Uh, hello, neighbors. Okay, I'm going to make a start on the rear fenders. I'm going to grind them down, clean them up, fill some holes with metal. I really want to avoid using any body filler at all, really. For this part of the project, it's going to be bare metal look with maybe a slight colour on the metal. You'll see what I mean when I try it out. But uh, for this first season next year, it will be a kind of bare metal look. And if I still have it at the end of the season, I'll think about stripping it down and making it shiny. But uh, step one. Oh, I need to make space, tidy up, find all my tools, and get started. This will be fun. <laughs> Fender is on the operating table. Let us examine what we have to do. Large hole here. I need to uh, graft in another section of metal here because one of the bolts that attaches to the body goes through there. That one needs cleaned up. That one's okay, okay. That one's a bit elongated, but it's okay, it's okay. Don't know what happened to that one. That one's got a bit of a crack. Fill that one. Fill that. That one's okay. This is a bit raggedy. I'll try and straighten that out and see what's underneath. Oh, this is going to be hidden <clears throat> on the inside of the car anyway, so you won't see it. So as long as it's uh, kind of rust free and not going to get any worse, I'll be okay with that. Down here, more holes to fill. But uh, generally, it's not bad. You know, a bit of surface rust. Uh, I'll probably have to clean all that up and then I'll just kind of use the, oh, what do you call it? The under sealer stuff on the inside. I mean, the car hopefully won't be seeing much rain once it's completed, but uh, better safe than sorry. So, yeah, I'll clean all this up and just see how bad it is. I'll, I'll maybe cut out a square rather than trying to cut some weird shape and get rid of as much contaminated metal as possible. Let us continue.
I thought I could get away with just using the brass wire brush thing to get rid of the surface rust but it's just too heavy so I've resorted to the flat disc because I really want it to end up like this but you know what old steel is actually pretty tough you really have to dig down deep to get down to that because the the wire brush was just was just doing that which is useless but uh, this is going to take a while to get it all down to that so I won't bore you with that I'll uh, I'll come back to it once oh my god once it's like that I had to open up the door it's getting a bit dusty in here okay I shall report back soon turning into a very pretty day if a bit murdery very nice okay where are we at most of it done I don't want to go too far I've actually gone a wee bit far along here I've actually lost a bit of the texture but uh, a couple of days out in the, the rain it'll sort that <laughs> yeah if I uh, if I grind too far it's just going to thin the metal and lose all its character shall we say so almost done with the this grinding sanding part and then I will start on the holes gets a bit sore in the old hand gets a bit you know vibrate with this grinder all the time okay I'll carry on right that's the pain in the ass part done looks quite nice a bit of clear coat on that that would be quite jolly so I'm quite, kind of lucky that the main part doesn't really have holes in it but uh, I will now go around the whole area you know and mark off the bits I'm going to cut out but I'll, I'll try and cut it out straight and then I'll take that section put it onto the new metal trace around it so that it's it's the same size section that I'm replacing I'm going to do this bit separate from the bottom part this bit's a bit uh, a bit crappy that's going to need a bit more precise work this will just be kind of a square but it will incorporate uh, the holes to attach it to the body these bits aren't too bad there's a section around here yeah I will also cut a section out here cut that out put it on lay it on top of metal trace around it stitch it on this section here is a bit uh, holy as well uh, yeah I might do a whole section from there down that whole section could be replaced the more I cut out the more I have to weld but uh, it's going to have to be done I think I think this part here all the way down there I think that section is actually hidden nah possibly not I think it goes in here oh well better get at it looking nice though Right, next step, using some of my special pre-weathered steel, namely it's been lying about in the garage for four years, so it's got a little bit of texture to it, it would look kind of out of place if I put brand new steel on top of that, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to trace around these, cut them out, stitch them on, easy as that, hopefully. If 
before I go to the next step, I'm going to drill these holes. Much easier to do on the bench drill than trying to hang underneath a car and hope they're in the right place. So I shall do that and then it's time to persuade them onto the, the fender. <coughs> right, I have my sections drilled. Hopefully they're all in the right places. So, this will be fun. I'm going to use these guys. I've never used these before. I've wanted them for ages. Never got around to doing it. So, the idea is you create a little space using this section, which is about a mil, which should be enough all the way around to allow for metal expansion. Okay, let's uh, give it a go. Just add a little bit of bend in this section here and then gradually bend it round. Um, I think I've got a bit of piping I could use for that. <coughs> so I'm where? Where are you? Ah, that was it. See if this will work. Because it actually slopes in this way and bends around. I'm wondering if this is. Uh, yeah, I think this is actually bent down a bit. So I'll need to bend this section up. Oh, watch me break this. I may have to resort to hammering. ready to attempt the well. I've got quite a large gap up here. As usual when you when you bend things they kind of shrink down but I'm really hoping if I start welding here it might expand it up this way and close this gap a little bit. Eh, we'll see what happens. I may have to just put a little plate behind that to get it something to adhere to. Right. Let's get the welder out.
forget how horrible 80 year old metal is to weld, it just, it just disappears, it just disintegrates. So I'm going to grind all this down, see how bad it is, and then uh, probably fill in the, the little holes that I've missed. Oh, I forgot to do that bit, but I'm going to leave that bit because I need to do a, a slight curved section all the way along. Right, grinder. Bad welder, good grinder. Right, let's see how I did. Actually not too shocking. I'm not too bothered about this section down here because this will be the only part you see. It's obviously a reason that it rusts there because that's where the water kind of curves down and just it just sits in this crease. So this bit needs a bit of work. This bit's not too bad at all. There's a couple of little spots I need to just add a bit more metal. There's a wee hole there that I need to fill. And again, from this point on, you won't see that. You only see from here out to there. So there. So that bit needs work. A wee bit of work there. And that's fine, obviously, because that's original metal. Shape wise it's fine, quite pleased. Right so I will uh, I'll probably do the other side, take a break from that side and see if I can get this side sorted. Right on with it. Other side is clamped up ready to weld on but from experience of the other side I'm definitely going to have to put a little bit of metal behind it to weld onto because the old stuff is just it's too badly oxidized so you put heat near it and it just sizzles away so i need to kind of weld mostly on the new metal and let it leak into the old metal if you know what i mean because when i just grind it flat it's just, it just disappears hey it's uh it is what it is it's it's going to look old that's fine. I actually managed to get a lot more metal onto it this time. I was pushing the, the puddle rather than pulling it, which I don't normally do, but maybe I should be in future because it's far better. I know that when I grind this down I've got a lot more metal and penetration. So I'm going out for a wee while, I shall resume in about an hour or two. Okay I'm done with this fender for today, I've run out of weekend. So a little test fit. Uh, basically all the stuff that, that I've done is going to be hidden so I'm not too bothered about uh, how nice it looks inside there. But the, uh, the overall effect should be nice. If the whole car looks like that I'll be happy. Oh god I really need to lower it. It's really bugging me now. The fender looks nice. Okay, I'll see you all next weekend. 
officially. No, wait, I'm off Monday, Tuesday. Back at it tomorrow. See you then.